So I'm hoping to be making the best modification that you can make to your Chinese bike. A lot of folks do, you know, carbs and everything out of the gate. And I've ridden mine for a while stock and I just recently changed the carb and a few other things. But the suspension on the back of this thing, I'm fat and old and it hurts. So I'm removing the stock shock and I've got this bad boy here. And I'll say it's 60 bucks on Amazon, something like that. It was, it was fairly affordable. And it's supposed to be, gentleman put it on his bronze, and it's supposed to be, oh, a pretty good replacement, um, you know, comparatively China bike riding, you know. But uh, I'm going to see how, how she fits up here and uh, take it for a spin and let you know. Basically, I got it sitting up on some blocks because I don't have a bike stand. And then got the bolts loose with the uh, impact and had to drag jack the swing arm up just a hair more to get it the bolts out so i've got one out so far we'll get this put back together i'm gonna ride it and uh hopefully post this video let you know how it is um operation is pretty easy it's just two bolts and uh we'll see how it goes i'm i'm, I'm hopeful and it's got this is a uh, this is on a t-mac apparently the hawks and some of the other ones do not have adjustable suspension the bras 250 does um and this is um adjustable I don't know where I should set the preload. I'm just gonna leave it where it's at now, which is about halfway. Um, so that should give me some extra extra playground and I won't be bottoming out quite as much and hitting backs with my, uh, hitting bumps with my old back. So anyways, hopefully this works out. All right, so it's out and I didn't realize the camera was rolling. The, it's upside down compared to this one. This one has a progressive shock. I didn't realize that. So, you know, you get your spring right here is going to be a lot lighter than down at the bottom. Um, but this one's a heck of a lot hefty, heftier. It looks like it is exactly maybe a millimeter or something off. Um, so, we're going to try to get this bad boy on and hurry up and go see why the baby's crying. He's being watched by his mother, just for the record. But he likes me more right now so i'm not gonna flip around and let you see how absurdly sweaty i am but i just got that all put together i scratched myself on something too took it for a quick skin i do have my plastics for this i just haven't put them back on yet um far stiffer in the setting that it's in which is good because the bike i should have measured it so i had empirical data and that would have been awesome um but it, it feels better. It uh, rides better. Is it amazing? No, nah, not. I mean, it, it's better. But uh, dang, I should have sat on it with the original shock, just so you could see how much my fatness sagged this thing. Because you think, you know, it's got the soft bit and then the progressive at the bottom. And I mean, I probably sagged it this much, like two or three inches, two and a half, three inches. You know, more, maybe more. Anyways, which you're supposed to have some sag, so you have up travel too, but this spring right here has just got so much more travel. It's about the same height, maybe a hair taller, because well, I'm still a little bit shorter than the, the BMW, but um, 60 bucks, I think it's worth it. I'll try to do a follow-up video next time I actually get out for a real ride. I mean, I'm, I'm squitted up right now. I got no shirt on and my flip-flops, so I couldn't ride it hard to see if it's, it's but from what I could tell, it's better. I'll go for a ride. Um, click subscribe. I'll try to get another video out. Let you guys know if it really is worth the money or not. But 60 bucks, I think it's worth every penny of that. Um, there are a lot of mods that people, you know, $80 for a carb. It's awesome to go fast, but if you can't go fast off-road, I guess if you just ride in town, it's great. But if you can't go off-road because the bike's beating the crap out of you because the suspension sucks, it doesn't really matter if you can go faster. Um, so, anyways, uh click a thumbs up or something and uh, let me know if you if you want to follow up all right get uh suggestions don't do it when it's 98 degrees outside number one um put your top bolt in first it actually go, mine goes in on the other side put that in first i fought this thing i had ratchet stripes out i had jacks to lift the, the wheel up and down i mean i had this thing i just fought and fought could not get that bolt in the bottom bolt doesn't have to thread you know it goes through here and then it threads but also just the fact that i can manipulate the swing arm 
and everything and reach it really easy right here. I still had to put a ratchet strap to kind of pull it this way. And it shouldn't have been that hard, but basically the shock is just touching right there. And somebody with a Dremel or patience, you know, would have notched that out, took the battery box off and notched all that. But chickens were biting me and mom was fussing at me because, you know, anyways, we just gonna try to get this thing on the road and uh, see how it does. So follow up with me. So I'm not sure how well the sound's gonna come across. Hopefully good. Um, out playing with this thing today. It's the next day. Figured I'd try it out just a little bit. And it is notably better. Now I do think that there could be some adjustments made. But as far as, it's a lot stiffer in a good way. I'm not bottoming out real hard. So it's stopping me there. But it also does take jolts. It is, it is a little bit rougher. But it's not bottoming out and it's not a hard hit so i'm not a suspension expert um let's just do a quick spin and i'll take you with me But the new shock, it's pretty awesome. I did bottom it out like twice on some, some pretty decent size bump of Ds. Um, I usually don't do things quite like that. So I, it's probably dialed in pretty close to where it needs to be. You know, if I was off-roading all the time, nothing but off-road, I'd stiffen it up just a little bit probably. Um, but I do, you know, have to get to where I'm going and road bumps seem to catch up with you a little bit faster. So... I may play with this shock a little bit, but as far as investment goes, I think it's spot on. Um, are there better ones out there? Most likely. There's probably something on Alibaba or, or eBay or something that's even better. But the takeaway is consider a shock. You know, I mean, this one's on Amazon. I'll try to find the link. Um, there's a, I can't remember the guy's name. He, he did the same shock on his bronze or bras. How do you say it? Anyways, um, it's pretty good pretty good shock uh <coughs> excuse me anyways it's 100 degrees outside not really it's, i think it's 96 but hot enough i'm getting the heck out of here till next time but one thing i just should mention when i said bottom out about the shock i don't know if the shock bottomed out or not i just it scrubbed the tire went as far as it would go but i do have a um toolkit that i i don't really use very often um and I did have it tucked further out of the way when I first mounted it. Um, my old shock never hit it, but I, it may have just been because it didn't have the travel. I mean, it had almost no travel before you hit the bump stop. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's, it's very minimal travel. So that scrubby noise, I could have been that tool, um, the tool, tool tube, and uh, not being far enough out of the way. So I think that's all it scrubbed. So I may have some more downwards um, travel on the shot. So we'll have to try that out after. I'll move the tool tube and try that out again at some point when it's not 98 degrees.